Hello friends! Welcome back! Mahilig ba kayo sa Paris o braised beef stew na may kasamang garlic rice at mainit na sabaw? Siyempre, oo. Kung familiar kayo sa Paris Retiro and if you live in Visayas Avenue or pass by the area, their newly renovated and air-conditioned branch is now open. Hindi naman sa nag i dahil parte naman na-experience yung open air style nila dati. Pero syempre, importante rin naman ang kalinisan, lalo na ang kalusugan ng tao. Kaya tara, kain tayo! At dahil Father's Day ngayon, o kahapon, ah basta Father's Day nung kinunan ko tong video, ay binisita namin ang aking abo nito sa kanang himlayan. Siya nga pala, hindi ko na-explain to sa last vlog ko. The word abuelo, or if you're really close, you use the word abuelito, is Spanish and Chavacano for lolo or grandfather. Pag uwi naman namin sa bahay ay naisipan ko bigla na tingnan ang mga photo albums namin. Pagbukas ko sa isang album ay doon ko na-realize na kahit matagal na ang mga larawan na kinuha ng aking abuelito ay maganda pa rin naman ang mga ito. Buti na lang talaga ay masipag ang aking abuelita na ayusin at ilagay ang mga ito sa album. You see, my abuelito loves taking photos. Whenever he travels, he always brings a camera with him. Importante kasi sa kanya na ma-capture or ma-document yung moments. Now I'm not entirely sure what camera he used on certain occasions, but I did find some of them at home. Would you like to see them? First is the Canon Demi EE17. This is Canon's half-frame camera released in the 1960s. This camera isn't that heavy, but it's definitely not light. Since I'm used to DSLRs, holding it gives me a weird feeling. Pero okay lang yun kasi maganda naman yung Canon Demi EE17. Tingnan mo naman, di ba? Napaka-classic, napaka-retro. I really hope I can still use this one. If you know someone who fixes cameras, kasi medyo rusty na talaga siya, comment down below, okay? Next is the Olympus OM10, a 35mm single lens reflex camera launched by Olympus Corporation in June 1979. This is actually a very heavy camera. Though it's heavier than my beginner Canon DSLR, I kinda like the grip. Yun nga lang, parang hirap mag-shoot kung ganito kabilat yung camera mo. Still, I'm interested to use the Olympus OM-10. Sana lang mapagawa ko pa siya. Now this one is quite fun. It's the Polaroid LAN Camera One Step SX70 with a rainbow stripe down the front. The SX70 is a folding single lens reflex LAN camera produced by the Polaroid Corporation from 1972 to 1981. There were actually a variety of models throughout those years and all shared the same basic design. This camera is very light and very retro. It reminds me of Stranger Things. Oh by the way, did you know that Polaroid just introduced the One Step 2 Stranger Things edition? Featuring a truly innovative flash developed by Hawkins National Laboratory, you can now turn any light into great photos every single time. Make it a summer to remember wherever your adventures may take you. Marketed on March 1994, the Canon SureShot Owl is based on the single focal length BF35 camera, which is an advanced model with three step autofocusing with one center point and a near infrared beam. In the UK, the camera was called the Prima AF7. The Prima Junior S Macro or Snappy L Macro or CB35M in various countries is a compact plastic point-and-shoot camera made by Canon. Now, though sa grandfather ko to, pinagamit na sa akin dahil kailangan ko sa school pag science projects kasi diba kailangan ng mga photos. So, ito yung ginagamit ko nun. Now for this one, the Kodak Capture. I researched but I couldn't find any information. I did, however, stumbled on the Halina Simplet, a range of 126 cartridge cameras made by Hacking in Hong Kong. Hacking as in H-A-K-I-N-G. Uh, they look really similar, pero hindi yan yun. If you know this camera, kung may information kayo, 
Just comment down below, okay? And that's all the cameras I saw at home. Out of the ones I shared, I really want to use the Canon Demi EE17 and Polaroid LAN camera one step. Yes, magastos magpagawa, idagdag mo pa yung pagbili ng film and pagdevelop. But I don't see anything wrong with choosing film over digital. Film photography is perfect. It captures the real moments, not staged, not edited. Minsan kasi porket alam natin na pwede i-retake or i-edit yung photo, kuha lang tayo ng kuha ng shots, nawawala yung essence. We keep taking photos instead of treasuring moments. May photo album pa ba sa bahay nyo? Ikaw ba may actual copy ka ng photo mo? Solo? With family? Or with friends? Kung nasa phone or social media, okay lang naman. Just make sure that when you look back, there's actually something to look back. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notifications. I'm active on Facebook, especially Instagram. See you in the next vlog!